Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn with PeakSportsNetwork.com. Here's a short clip of an interview that I did with NFL veteran Cortez Hankton. What do you think is one of the biggest challenges during your career that you've had to overcome? When I came into the NFL, I was an undrafted free agent. Mm -hmm. So I always had that unseen pressure of making sure that I did everything right and everything good on a consistent basis because I knew that my leash wasn't as long as other guys. My opportunity wasn't as plentiful as other guys just because of the way that I came into the league. I mean, being undrafted, people don't think that they don't expect you to make the team anyway. Fortunate enough, I was able to make the roster my first year coming out as a rookie uh, without any practice squad or anything. You know, it's consistently being able to do that, persistently, uh, persistently and consistently able to, to maintain that performance. And mentally for me, you know, it can start to, to wear on you because you see guys come in and drafted high in the first round and they get, like, rights right away. They have the rights to a position right away because they have money invested in it. And that's another part of the game that sometimes the general population don't understand. So you always Over felt here. this pressure, what you're saying, this pressure is I have to be at my best. I have to, to be accepted as, as part of the team and, and, and as a good player in the NFL. I have to earn my keep as opposed to guys coming out in the first round of the draft. Now, I could see that working in two ways for you. I could see that that would keep you really on top of your game and re- cause you to work really hard and stay really committed even in the off season. But I could see it working in another direction against you as well in that you have this pressure and this expectation on your shoulders. It's like, well, I can't make any mistakes. I can't drop balls, you know, in practice and in games. Um and so which way was it for you? Was it, was it more helpful, or did it create more of a tentativeness and, and, and a fear of not wanting to screw up? You know, I, I've, I've had experiences with both, but mm-hmm. I've had more positive than negative, I would say. Um, mm-hmm. I was able to play, uh, you know, coming out, this would have been my uh, seventh accredited season. So I'm, I'm seven years uh, in the NFL. Um, I've reached a vested point, so I'm considered to be successful, especially as an undrafted free agent. So that commitment, um, that pressure did help more than it hurt. Now, I mean, it's been times, truth, that the pressure was so much, I went out there with that tentativeness, like, oh, I can't, I can't do anything wrong. You know, I'm, I, instead of just being relaxed and going out and playing a game and having fun, I was so worried about making a mistake uh, uh, dropping a ball, like it affected me. You know, it led to mistakes. It led to drops. I mean, it's a it's a thin line between the two, and it, you know, sometimes I've straddled the fence. You know, um, how'd you overcome that? What what was the one or two things that allowed you to overcome that? Was it just perspective, or was it just realizing, hey, I got to go out and I just gotta I got to play freely and and not worry about this stuff? What was the one thing that allowed you to overcome that fear of you know, making mistakes and, and, and not wanting to screw up? Just really going out there and having fun, knowing that, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's a game. You know, we, we take so much, as an NFL player, you take so much pressure on yourself, and especially guys that were in my position on a bubble, you know. Um, and on a bubble, guys, you know, you always question if you're going to make the team or not. And it was almost like you feel like it's life-threatening. Because it, cause it is. I mean, it affects your, your, your financial stability. It, it affects so much other outside of the game that these are the things that are going on uh, in your mind. Mm-hmm. So just going out there and having fun and knowing, like, look, I've, I have these abilities. I've made the plays before. Thinking about plays that you've made throughout your life, all the positive ones, and knowing that you can still make those same type of plays. So it was like almost visualizing the things that I've done to help me do the things that I will do. Great.